the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so hip she is. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Oh, don't make me watch that again. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffin, oh, I'm so pissed why about exactly that. were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Welcome back, Nocturnal Hamsters, to the most asked for awaited game on the channel, Life is Strange. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I, I, I've been um, itching to play, but I'm still kind of pissed at the game. Like, I still am very emotionally upset about the loss of Game Heart. Like, I hate myself for letting her die, but like, I didn't know. I, but obviously it's my fault, because... I didn't know the correct answer, like who would miss her the most. Like, pissed me off so bad. Which is why I haven't played the, I haven't uploaded a video on this game in quite some time because I haven't wanted to play because of that. <clears throat> so welcome back. Kick back, sit back, grab some popcorn or drinks or food or whatever, because this will be another one of those long videos, story game mode, just as the first two. And I hope you enjoy. Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Did you feed the bunny? I still can't stop thinking about Kate. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. It's funny that you can actually feed the bunny. And I feel like, I think we've already done, <clears throat> I think we've already done everything in here. Haven't we? Can I, uh... Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like a moron. Come on, Max. No more tears. You have to act, not react. Yes, ma'am. Floor lamp, switch on. Um... Nah, let's turn it off. There's no reason for it to be on, right? Just a waste of electricity. All right, let's go. Let's roll. Roll out. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... <laughs> Light. <laughs> This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. God. 
Do we have time? I guess we have time, right? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. You were nice to Kate. That's all she needed from everybody else here. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. The, 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 um... Thing that mean there was something... Didn't that mean there was something else that I could've... Talked about, right? Hey, Dana. I just can't... Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved. Like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. Because Victoria was still going to torture Kate with that video. I know. Kate could have blown it off, but she was too damn nice and innocent. Dana, there's more to... So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. What? Victoria bounced out of here. Not me. That was it? I could have... I don't know. I guess I could have oh, gathered Victoria that. Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Oh, wait. Isn't she... That's where I was. I don't remember which room was hers. No, don't go back. <laughs> she had a room too, didn't she? Yeah, I mean, obviously she had. There it is. Yep, okay. Shut the door. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. <laughs> That's funny. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Snoopin. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. But yeah. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry. Well, well, maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. What is this? I'm just avoiding some lame science, lame ass science homework. Anybody can do their fucking homework after seeing somebody jump to their death. It was like watching a reality TV show. Australian Desires Curfew Cocktail. We'll, talk, we'll drink to Kate. Hmm. Sorry, I can't stop seeing Kate fall. I need to drink to that. So they went out drinking. Great. First Rachel and now Kate? 
This is the end of the Vortex Club. Is that it? There's nothing. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Hmm. <clears throat> I, I guess I forgot what I'm supposed to be looking for. Whoa, I had no... <clears throat> nothing... Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Victoria is about as street as me. But she really appreciates style. I'm not really seeing much else. We search the desk, we open the drawers, we check the shoes, we can't open the drawers or the mirror, we looked in there, cameras, we search the backpack, we did this already, right? Well, well, maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see anything. Maybe we're just looking to see that she went out drinking. Are we fallen angels who didn't want who didn't want to believe nothing is nothing? What is that memory of Kate Walsh? Yeah. All right. All right. Maybe I can see if I can talk to her again real quick. Now that I know that where she's going. I am wiped out, Max. Okay. We'll talk later. All right. Let's go. Let's roll out. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Am I supposed to be able to come in here? Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Yeah, that's not at all creepy. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa. Nothing but tools. Nothing here. I guess maybe I'm supposed to come in here later to find something? I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Oh, come on, Jesus. I'm coming, Chloe. Pull your tits. It's like the game's like, hey, you're not supposed to be snooping around. You're supposed to be playing the game. <laughs> Is that somebody standing Principal there? Principal Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, serious. I'm toast if he you sees me. You have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm you're not sorry, supposed Principal to be drinking, Wells. brah. I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? I'm sitting my ass down. Nobody can expel me. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Wonder if that has something to do with the... No, I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped.
Oh, maybe I can turn the sprinklers on. We've done it before, haven't we? Isn't there a thing in here somewhere? Or not? Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Oh. I see now. I see now. Thanks, game. Again. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's so eerie. I mean, oh, yeah. Get it? it. Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. Well, like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I'm sure she was I meant know to die. Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's going to bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And the players. find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh, yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right, except for your ability to... Oh, yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. The deer. It scares right? me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. <laughs> Like a boss. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? Oh, the light just turned We're off. We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. <laughs> Insert bad pun here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm, like, still in shock. I've never seen like... anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well... 
how does this affect the everyday heroes contest? What a bitch. the contest will go on. I just won't be representing I mean, Blackwell at the event surprised. this year, thanks to Max. Who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her? I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? I feel like he was very unprofessional when he blamed Max. So stupid. I don't think that it's his Just place or he has the... Um, any more evil. What's the word? Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. This shouldn't be okay to be like, oh, because of Max, I can't go to San Francisco to another student. Like, it's the... I can't remember what it's called. You complain about Chloe the Keymaster. things to your boss, and you your boss what? complains about things to their boss. So he shouldn't be complaining down to Victoria. He should be complaining Dude, to the principal. I don't know about this. Don't We're both already that. in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. <laughs> it's fucked up. I'm serious. It's fucked up. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Do I explore or do I just go in? I think I might just go in. I imagine there's not much. Can I shut the door? No, that's, you definitely should be shutting the door. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. I don't imagine they would leave Nothing here. the key right outside the door. To, I don't know. I mean, I guess they could, but like. Dead end. That'd be pretty stupid, wouldn't it? Boring. God, don't sound so enthused. Crap. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. No way. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. I guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank, but I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My Blow plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Bubble Listen, hearth. I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would say... I know some of you will get that door, out there. Would you maybe kind of know how? <laughs> huh? No. I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. 
I love the reference. That was yes, fucking awesome. I'll all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got in. What about your plan? Yep. I'm gonna go put it together. Yep. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Oh, is it soda? Okay. Sugar, soda, duct tape, salt. Or not salt, but... Okay. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. I'm trying to remember where the uh, science lab was, but I, I remembered. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Well, there's sugar. Can, can I? Oh, I can change the grade? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Because it'll be very, I feel like it would be. What difference would it make? No, we're not gonna do it. No, no, no. Because that's, that's too many. Ooh, sugar. Too many potential Only consequences for that. I never said they were great, troll. Because <laughs> it's like, yeah, sure, I could change the grade. And, you know, sure, maybe. No, this maybe mixture does not. The teacher not won't work. realize that. Or won't remember which grade she gave me. But then it's. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Um, you know, I guess more or less I was thinking of the, the psychological effect. You know, if you changed, if it's changing my grade, if it's changing my grade, then that might be a little different. But if we're changing Warren's grade, you know, that might mess him up. His, you know, his psyche or whatever. I don't know, that's pretty deep. I don't know if this game does Everybody's that Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Mm. Good evening, fish fish. Can I turn it off? I can't turn it off, okay. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Alright, yeah, turn it off. Please resume your slumber. So now we need a soda can, weed killer, and oh, hey, right there. Here's the sodium chloride box. Can you reach it without knocking everything over? <laughs> you know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. <laughs> Use the damn chair. At least it didn't make us um, do that. Can I put the... Was that where the chair You're was? Halfway home, Max. Oh, damn, she types fast. It's pretty funny. All right, um, no, that's not what I wanted. I need the text messages for um, Warren. Oh, it was just, so this is from mom. It was so good to hear your voice. Remember what we talked about. You were there for your friend and she had no, she had nobody else. And Kate made her own choice. Nobody could expect more than what you did. You are here and we love you so much. was soda can and duct tape. 
I wonder if I can get everything from here or I have to go somewhere else. Just I feel like that would make the game a little too easy, right? Empty. Come on. Oh, Kate. Your locker looks so lonely. Is this the science lab again? Yeah. Okay. Quality content gameplay right here, boys and girls. Nothing. This is Where did so they get find duct tape? Nope. Doesn't anybody drink sodas here? Just emptied. Nothing here. A long time ago, in a girl's room right here. Nothing in it. Jesus. I probably should find those items now. Thank you, Captain Obvious. What do you know? Trash. I think I'm running out of places to look. I thought we used some tape in Jefferson's class last week. Okay, but I still need a soda can. No can here. This is like a scene in a horror film. Say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. <laughs> nice going, Max. Look, Kate, Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, <laughs> said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Because she's a bitch. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Oh, there's duct tape. Nice. The tape is mine. All right. Only one more ingredient left. Yeah, damn, I took take the other duct tape. We have two duct tapes. You could never have enough duct tape. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. All right, now we gotta turn all the trash cans again. Can. All right. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. That was so 
fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Rewind and run? Or do I have to... Take it easy on the door, Quote. What? No, 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 god damn it. Hang on. Take it easy on... Alright, here we go. something. I better rewind. Oh, I totally forgot about that power. Oh, that's dope. She's going to be so freaking impressed when I come out the door. Or am I supposed to let her in? If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with a rewind. <laughs> oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. <laughs> I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. I certainly can't use this. I guess I have to leave it. I'm just thinking like I'd want it off in case, you know, I forget to uh, turn Looks it off. Looks like an oil painting spill. Awful. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. That's messed up. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. 4.0 GPA. I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. 1.7. Little homework, belligerent to her teachers. Recently suspended, graffiti. Yeah. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. I 
think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Hmm. You're not so tacky up close. What is she doing over there? Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The press always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info, let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? <laughs> Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Don't make me pick. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Fucking okay, no, we're not, no, no. No, 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 I didn't mean to push that, no. no Frank no, no. knows things about Rachel and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are a super max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding, but you never know. I did not want to do that. I feel like shit for taking that money. Yeah, that was not, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I thought I was pushing the other one. Max, you bet. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Right, but like, you're taking money from the handicap fund, which would be used for somebody who actually needs it. Like, it's just, that's not. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. 
No, it, yeah, I mean, if it seems like it'd be cool, but it's a temporary, what they call it, a temporary good thing, a long-term negative to take in the money. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. <laughs> I guess I should consider this evolution. Boys locker room is right. <laughs> Sometimes. No worries, it's all bad. Yeah. Some poor hipster lost their vape. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? That is a pam. Jesus. Was it whisper done? No way am I touching Zach's jersey. This must be for training kids. Hmm. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Oh. Welcome to 1950. That's messed up. Ooh, these are some fancy pool glasses. Take them. I bet you do. This one is almost empty. The guys must... Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. Bros will be bros. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light! I don't even know where... Where it would be. Maybe follow the light. Nope. Incorrect. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, we'll do this one. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. <laughs> oh, they're not gonna even know. No one's gonna know. Where's the light switch? This is the locker room, right? Oh, here we go. Lifeguard room. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters.
So the big plan is win. Is that it? Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Okay. Time to do or dive, Max. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God. But what if I had? What if you and Kate would both be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Ew. I don't want any Blackwell bros over me. I mean, there's a couple cute guys there, but they probably think I'm a total nerd. Uh, nerds are hot. You just don't have any confidence yet. Unfortunately, that didn't come with my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get up. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Of course. Hi! Figured it's only a matter of time, right? Move, Max! 
Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. Make sure you cover the whole terrain. Are you shitting me? Oh shit. Oh shit. Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Try any Halloween prank after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. How did he not see Chloe? We are so invisible. Let's bail. I guess my question is, how did somebody know? What did Wait, what did we do? Turn around! They're coming! We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car! That's, um, what's his name then when he recognized the truck as hers? And so he would know who it was. Selfie. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. I feel just like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. 
I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist is rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. Yeah, we're gonna get up. Keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. Okay, I need to get dressed now. I think I'll be washing today. What does that say? Dad's gone. Suck it. Fuck all shit. Life. It's very interesting. I could have hid in the closet and then David wouldn't be on my case. No, you couldn't have because I opened the closet. And the shit fell everywhere. Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Didn't I? Fairly certain I remember opening the closet. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel's is so touching. That condom, yeah. Closer. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Oh, at least we haven't been identified. Yet. Vandalism. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Oh, hey, there it. you go. Yep. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. The duh. <laughs> Don't back down. <laughs> Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. Yeah, she didn't think you she would. She didn't think I would. <laughs> I think I had. I don't have it anymore. I had Looking a shirt, but it was sick, Max. like that. A couple but tats, purple. some piercings, and we'll make really a thrasher cool. out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra? <laughs> Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? Mm. I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. It's a shame that she does drugs. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? I mean, everybody has their thing, but, you know, 
Oh my god, that smells so amazing. Which, that text reminds me, like, where would we have found the information Like when we were kids here. Because I think I was one question away from saving Kate, and it was who was going to miss her the most, or who was she going to let down, or something like that. And I think I guessed her mom, and I was incorrect. So I guess I would have said dad. I think dad was the correct answer, wasn't it? Based on that text that I just got. So close. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. <laughs> Eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. I don't know. How much shit did she freaking drop last time she first, was here? The eggs Joyce used to say. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Huh, bacon. Bacon is the shiznit. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or... Wherever she is. I don't think I want to get her involved. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? <laughs> five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me, what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Oh, is he home? No. Wowzer, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Who drinks beer this early around here? I, mean, I, I think that is a yes. He is home. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good. You can clean. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I guess nobody waters the plant here. This is quality, quality gameplay action right here, eating some food. 
Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Was that it? I guess nobody waters the plant here. Okay, do I how do I do it? Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And, and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Feed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. <laughs> She's like, peace. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. I gotta look for clues. Nothing to see here. Mmm, corned beef. Beef. That's what's for dinner. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. So much wrong. Well, yeah, you put in five numbers instead of the four numbers. You saw that, right? She put in five, five letters. Maybe I could try Stepdad for the password. Is it Chloe's not? Cause he wasn't around. I was gonna say Chloe's birthday, but like he wasn't around for that. I could try the license number for the password. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. No, I didn't. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Worst hacker ever. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. No, I didn't. <sighs> Try what? again. No way, Max. You totally froze top. All right. We already looked in the cupboard, right? Yeah. We looked in the drawer. Yep. Oh yeah, there's still a whole garage. Look. 
David has been dragging his head around since 2001? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's cute. Could be a password here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. I'm gonna now say the it was... car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Let's just say the the knife. Joyce angel. might as well have wrote "Let's get married." <laughs> yeah, I think my the knife. Whatever the password is for that one. No, not that one. <gasps> Shit balls. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. The other one. Keep your wings up. Nope. No way, Max. Okay. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. Worst hacker ever, right? Sorry. Um, did we try this one yet? Such wrong. Can I go back even further? I don't think I can, can I? Okay, then we have this one. Worst hacker ever. No, at the top. What else am I missing? We have that. This goes outside, right? I still need to find the password yeah. to David's computer. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have that might be a useful password. Oh, there we go. That'd be a good one, the day that they met. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. Why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Ugh, creepy bastard. Hmm. I better tell Chloe about this now. Ugh, it's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. It's interesting. But he didn't have that much information. At least it only showed Chloe, Max, and Rachel. Does that make you think? She's like, oh god. Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. 
Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. Where's your you hand? For getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? The Who fuck? haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Oh God. Oh. I hate when it's like decisions like this. So why would why would we side with David? I'm trying to think of the pros and cons. Like, obviously, I'd want to side with Chloe. Girls against the boys. And we don't like David. But I remember mentioning it before that he is trying to do the right thing. He's just going about it the wrong way. So what would happen if we sided with David? Listen! We don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy Enough. David is. I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? I feel like if I had sided with Chloe, it would have tore a hole. Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Yeah, I would have tore a hole in the family if I had sided with Chloe. Obviously, there's already some shit there, but like, don't want to mess all this stuff up right Thanks now. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? No. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. The fuck is he eating? I mean, it looked like... Let's know. check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. Yeah, I don't even know what the hell that is. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's Well, keys. she freaking... It even confused me. Like, I understood, like... Hold on, let's see. Special 18th birthday. You're an adult now. Check your account. Oh my gosh, you got money. Nice. Made to a high school around here. Nice. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? <laughs> you don't think it could be like climate change or something? I'm a fisherman, no scientist. I know the sea is warming, but this is something new. Maybe worse. What do you mean, worse? If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay... Sorry, I'm just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't it? I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. 
Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. You already talked about it. <laughs> There's a lot of weird shit going on. Good lord. Bacon. I'm ready to nosh... That will be fun to take a road trip to the drive-in with Warren. Max needs more fun. Hey, speak of Warren. Say the plate. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the keys? to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, I'm confused. You eat like a pit. That's not what I wanted to do. have serious balls little girl but hanging out with Chloe playing with guns and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough what the fuck do you want take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera how do you know these are Rachel's clothes because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass you're lucky I just took that gun from you grab your keys and let's check out your RV let's not you fucking <laughs> creep me out in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. What? How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Black Will for a while. Such a waste. Ugh, awful. I feel like David Madsen represents Black Will. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Who else should I... Is that Nathan? Oh, God. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh, look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. 
I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Come on. Come on. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then t tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. <sighs> this is going real well. Come on. Rachel! So we did... Rachel and Frank and your father, Kate Marsh, and George for sale. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. What the fuck now? What the fuck? David is after the gun. By drugs. So I don't think he's gonna, yeah. By the way, Frank. I was wondering if you had any, um... Higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But. But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'll back off. <laughs> what the fuck now? David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother, but I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. By the way... <laughs> but... But nothing. This isn't going very well. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do you here. You eat like a pig. What the fuck now? <laughs> you have serious ball. By the way. But, but can you change anything? Well, what the hell? How you doing, Maxine? Thanks, up. I'm glad. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. Makes me sick thinking about it. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. 
Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What can I do for you, Max? I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. <laughs> What can I do for you, Max? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. That was it? Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet R Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. <sighs> hmm. Let's go back, but we're gonna go talk to... Frank. What can I do for you? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. I can't look at the... Oh, this is where I... Okay, this is where I spill. Let's see, do we spill the can or do we spill the beans? The magic keys to Frank's RV kingdom. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. I kind of feel bad. I actually feel bad. Because. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. 
Give me my keys now. I don't have to spill anything, okay. Keep brought. Now back to Chloe. That was a lot of work. I'm sorry. If I remember, maybe I'll cut that out because I don't know. It's a lot of Shit. We're not friends. I thought you might be ready for the Vortex Club, but if the shit you pulled was Jefferson, no way. Uh, let's see, you're an evil queen. Can't get in. Basically, I'm not getting in. That sucks. I thought I had a way into the club. I'd love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. Alyssa, watch out! Quick thinking, Max. Whew. That was close, Alyssa. That's the second time you've saved me, Max. Thanks. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. I saw you try and save my friend Gate on that rope. The only one who did. While people took camera pics. Kate was my friend, too. I would have done anything to save her. Everybody saw that. I'm proud of you for being so brave. You're pretty cool, Max. That's not how I feel today, but thanks. We need to hang out more. Drink some wine. I have to go, but let's talk later, cool? She got braces or something? I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now I can <laughs> snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. It's okay, we'll just rewind time. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Come on, let me move. Let me go. <laughs> You scope the air like the archetypal filthy guy dishes. I doubt Frank is almost a made for TV hoarder. This place is nasty. How can somebody live like this? That's a good question. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. It's probably drugs. Are I'm, these I'm for assuming. Frank or is he selling them? Or both? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Oh yeah. Maybe some drug in. Is Frank going to deal online now? That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Ooh, Frank's stash. Can we see if we found Frank money? Out here. It must take him days to download porn. Yuck. <laughs> If we found money no I'd, more secrets i would probably take it and then use the money to get back to him 
pay off the debt, you know. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. We got a crowbar anywhere? Presto, Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? Oh no. What do you think? I mean, I would say, what do you think? Obviously, you guys can't respond in real time. But I feel like I should give it back to her. I'm gonna give it back to her. I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. See, I was hoping she'd do that, but she's not gonna do that. Because that would mean she'd have to admit... I might regret this, but... I can't let Frank hurt someone. Yeah. Frank must have a reason to keep a police. Frank must have a reason to keep a police raider on your body. Uh, can I use the baseball bat? No. No prize here. Can I use the knife? Oh. Yeah, there we go. This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Hmm. Let's check the other vent just in case there's something else there. Or not. Let's not check the other vent. There's no money. I was really hoping there'd be money laying around somewhere. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on the stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! You totally defended step stalker. Fuck everybody. Chloe! I mean, no, I'm really hurting the relationship between me and Chloe, but it's like, she's not the whole world, either. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. So now it's Rachel's fault, too? Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank! Bitch lied to my face, Max! I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. Chloe Price, you better take that back. 
right now. Okay, fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, wait. I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. I done fucking everything up. Oh my god, what is happening now? Oh nice, we're gonna go back, don't we? Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William hint, is here. Hint, daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in crates? time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crates. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. So how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. It's so weird, so cool, but it's like they totally Chloe fucked was so, so much. Into manga. Nice hair. That's where she got it from. You can fuck up so much. Shit. I know they never took that big vacation. That's the that's the phone call, isn't it? Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast oh, with Chloe. Awesome. Oh, yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. 
I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his Excuse car today. Me, ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? <laughs> keys, please. Where are the keys? Aha! You can't hide from- No, I wanna- no, don't go that far back. How many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right. Score! Like you're the real cook here. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Now I get to take a picture. Like, I want that picture there. Sorry, wrong number. Max, come on, you know better than that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast for Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whale. Man, I remember Chloe reading this. But not after today. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. I knew that would come in handy. How the hell did my keys end up here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. I just have to throw the keys outside, right? That would be my guess. No, no, no. I want the picture. Now I get to take a picture. There's a reason for it. I'm not sure what it is yet, but... Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two ways. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll... Got it. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Now how much shit did we fuck up? 
There's gotta be so much stuff that we just changed. The service fee is like 50%. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Be wet and cold every day. But Never, like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so hard. I know, sorry, Mad is Max. You're not pissed at me, right? No, right? People in Oregon Do you want to go hit the girls' California potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. <laughs> I wonder how he goes from the head of security to a bus driver. Like, why does changing her dad dying change his job? be the end yet. Come on. It's only two hours. How far are we? <laughs> Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. So fucked up. Oh man. Oh my gosh. It's 
Damn, it's fucking with you. Fucking with you so bad. <laughs> That's a compromise though, right? I mean, it's not, oh gosh. It's not my place to, to put Chloe in that position, but she's right, the universe fucking hates her. And she gets her dad back, but then she's stuck in a fucking wheelchair. <sighs> but she's happy, right? I mean, I don't, hopefully we don't, I mean, I, yeah, no, I don't want to have to make the decision like that, but like, She's happy. She's in a wheelchair. She doesn't know any different. And she has her dad. So she doesn't know the fucked up life that she would have had. Or she had previously. And now she has. Like, I don't, I don't fucking know. I hate this game. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, if you guys are still here, you made it this far. Thank you so much. It's been a long, long video at two hours or so. A little over two hours right now before I edit some stuff. If you guys like this video, you should give me a, a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, you know, feel free to give me that thumbs down. Let me know your true comments, your true feelings. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel to catch future content and previous videos uh, on the channel. And I don't know, I don't know how long it's going to be before I I do the next episode. I think the next episode is the end. So I don't know, but. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you then.